Destiny is easily one of the biggest games to come out in 2014. Coming from the same studio that bought us the Halo series, Bungie have been hard at work to craft an FPS MMO of galactic proportions. With a budget behind it almost bigger than NASA's space program and some of the best talent in the industry, Destiny is sure to hit its mark. Destiny is a game that has many high points, but sadly the story is not one of them. Hundreds of years into the future, mankind has left Earth and a journey to colonize new planets in the solar system. These new colonies are wiped out, however, and mankind is saved by a white spherical force known as the Traveler. You play the role of a guardian who wakes up on Earth in the aftermath. You are accompanied by a small robot AI known as a ghost. The ghost is voiced by Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones, who totally phones in his performance. Together you guys have to take back the former colonies and wipe out the dark alien force. The story is difficult to follow and average at best. Certainly not memorable. After a brief tutorial level, you end up at the tower. The tower acts as your hub for all your space exploration. From there, you can jump to orbit and select any of the nearby planets you wish to travel to. As you slowly progress, you unlock more planets around you, as well as new armor types, weapons, and special abilities. Destiny's gunplay and controls are very solid. However, the levels get a little tedious after one or two playthroughs. Every level starts with a bit of exploration, a few random enemy encounters, and it usually ends with you deploying your ghost and trying to hold out against waves of enemy units until eventually finishing the level. Luckily, however, things are always better with friends, and the second you jump online with a few co-op buddies, Destiny starts to make sense. Sections that previously took you hours to complete can be blasted through in mere minutes with a good wingman by your side. And if you get bored of helping your friends, you can always shoot them in the face in one of the many competitive modes found in the Crucible. After completing the story mode, Destiny still has a lot to offer, and you'll rank up many more hours after the credits roll. Destiny is certainly easy on the eyes. You'll often find yourself just parking off on a high point and gazing upon one of the many beautiful views and vistas. But the detail doesn't stop outside. Inside are some great well-lit locations that are dripping with atmosphere. Weapons feel punchy and, and look dangerous as they tear through enemies with explosive power. The attention to detail certainly is impressive. Although even though some levels look like they may have been rushed ever so slightly, such as Venus, other levels, like the moon, certainly make up for it. All in all, Destiny's presentation is top notch. Like any good RPG, Destiny is all about grinding and finding new loot to better your character. And if you've ever played a good RPG, you'll know that this is one of the most addictive things you can experience in a video game. That's why Destiny will keep you coming back to the same level, facing against the same wave of enemies, and you'll keep doing it until you find that perfect armor set or that high powered weapon. And for some reason, it just doesn't get old that quickly. And even though your character maxes out at level 30, there's still plenty of loot to find to keep you exploring throughout the planets. On top of that, there's also plenty of randomly generated special events that act as little side quests to take you off the beaten path when you least expected and add a little spice to the whole experience. Destiny is the type of game you could play for 20 hours, but it's also the type of game you could play for 60, 70 or even 80 hours. It's totally up to you. Requesting approval. At the end of the day, Bungie can be happy they put as much time, effort and money behind this project as they did. 
Destiny certainly delivers on most of the promises that they made, but for some, they're going to feel a little shortchanged. If repetitive gameplay is not for you, grinding to that next armor set level, then Destiny might not be your cup of tea. And if you can understand or even follow its very convoluted storyline, it's certainly not the kind of game that you're going to remember story-wise days or even hours after wrapping it up. But if you're looking for the next big co-op shooter out there, then you've come to the right place. Destiny won't disappoint.